Welcome to part 21 of South Park, The Stick of Truth. Now that we've got our hands on all the abortion records, we're going to have to go and find a way to get them translated. So we'll have to return to the boys in order for that to happen. So, yeah. Let's prepare ourselves because we're going to need a passport. But first, we're going to have to talk to Kyle in order to Man, make Beesbeck, progression you were supposed to happen. The girls. What's the delay? So let's go on ahead and talk to Kyle. What's this? Council, gather around. This must be something the new kid needs our help with. Sank fams on sobi unan What language is that? It's some kind of strange orcish. I've seen this language before. In the kingdom to the north. Oh, the kingdom to the north. Whatever's written on these documents is somehow the key to us recruiting the girls to our army. Is, is that what you're trying to tell us, new kid? Come on, spit it out. Getting that document translated isn't going to be easy. To breach the kingdom to the north, you'll have to assume another identity. Your name is no longer Commander Douchebag. It is now Larry Babinski from Cleveland. The quickest way to the kingdom to the north is through the Lost Forest. Head north, then north again, north, and, and then north. You better get a real passport photo first or you won't make it past border control. Now that we are Larry Babinski, we need a picture to go with the passport. So we're going to have to go to Photo Dojo. By the way, the directions Kyle gave us to go to Canada is reminiscent of the original Legend of Zelda, which is the same exact directions you have to go to get to Ganon's castle. Funny that. I mean, it's a nice reference and all, and to make things even funnier, the fact that where we're going next is also 8-bit. So, let's go over to Photo Dojo. Oh, and speaking of references, let me reference back to a couple of parts ago, several parts ago actually, that I mentioned we may be meeting a member of Nambla. Um, about that. Let's go and switch over to Princess Kinney and talk to that guy. Hi, here to get your passport photo taken? Just head into the room there and we'll get started. Step between the lights, please. Oh, and by Nambla, I don't mean the National Association of Marlon Brando lookalikes. No, the other Nambla. Step between, the step between same the Nambla lights, that still exists today. And I ask myself why. That's great. Okay, smile. Oh, do you have anything else you could wear? Could you try something else on? Yeah, it's just, it's just not working. Let's try that other outfit. Uh, no, tell you what, how about just no shirt at all? Let's try that. Yeah, that's gonna work better. Here we go. Oh, those pants don't work with the lighting. Could you roll up your pants or, you know what, just take, take the pants off too. Okay, that's good, really nice. Yes, very nice. How about we lose the underwear? You sick son of a bitch! Stop him! You'll never take me alive! And now we deal with the pedophile. This one's not really that hard. All you gotta do is watch out for this guy's camera. He will use a camera to blind you temporarily. But that's okay. All it takes is just two turns to kill this guy. Although you will be without your armor, because you had no choice but to take it off. Kind of a forced handicap, if you will. It's just like with the battle with the underwear gnomes. As a matter of fact, all I need to do is just slash him one more time and he's done. Or I'm going to backstab him, one of the two. But like I said, the only uh, dangerous thing from this guy is the camera flash. Wow, good job, kid. You're quite the fighter. All right, let's get this over with. Say cheese. Congrats, kid. You have your first passport. With that said, we now have our passport, even though we were in our underwear. Yeah, we still have our passport. But regardless, we have defeated the pedophile. Also, if you look in here, you'll end up fighting not only a uh, weapons strap on but also the Nambla calendar and for those of you who aren't familiar with the show which 
actually had an episode where Nambla tried to seduce the boys. Nambla is the North American uh, Man Boy Love Association. In other words, a group of pedophiles that thinks it's okay to have sexual relationship with kids. Specifically, young boys. And South Park referenced those guys, gave them an entire episode. Or was it two episodes? But I know they had one at least. But nonetheless, Nambla is no more. Looks like that's the only reference in this game, game you will you ever have, have of them. Now then, on to more pressing matters. And by pressing matters, I mean going forth to the Canadian wilderness. Oh, excuse me. Having a hiccups there. And in order to do that, we're gonna have to pass by you, store it, and ignore the Nazi zombies. And we're gonna have to take a long hike up north. And we're gonna have to go past these cows, too, and take a long hike up north. <laughs> And we're going to keep going up north until, that is, we reach Canada. So, with that said, let's go up one more time. And then, all we need to do is go up to Border Patrol. Because he's not going to let you through until you actually show him the passport. So, there's no point in you coming in early. Now, ah, I see you have... A passport. All right, hand it over. Papers appear to be in order. Very well. I hereby grant thee access to the great nation of Canada. Open the gate! Oh, I'll do it. Hold on. There we go. And speaking of references to 8-bit games... As I said before, the next land we're going to is 8-bit, and it's by far the best stage in the game, which is Canada. Everything is now in 8-bit, so it'll be easier for you to travel, but you have to go through uh, the towns by pressing A when you're near the entrance, sort of like old school RPG Maker. But here's something that's not old school. Just walks into someone's house. And yet, they kept fucking. Anyway, if you want to sell off Welcome to the shop. Uh, your junk here, wares? it would be a good idea because that's one of two ways for you to get currency here in Canada. Either selling off your junk or uh, going over to the Canadian bank and Exchanging American currency for Canada. Canadian oh, currency. American the current exchange rate is one point two five. Which, if you exchange American with Canadian, you'll only get about uh twenty dollars in Canadian. Well, actually, twenty four dollars in Canadian uh money. Ottawa is the Speaking of, of which, Canada. you need five dollars of it for that clinic over there, just in case you get dire AIDS. It's the only place in the game that can cure it. Now, let's go and oh, speak hey, the with the Prince of Canada. Canada. Well, well, what have we here? A hero from the south? Not just anyone can pass the guard at the great border. You must have beaten the odds and obtained a passport. I am the Prince of Canada, and this is my lovely wife. How can I help you? What's this? Hmm. Sorry, but I don't know what this says. I've seen this language before, but I believe it's only spoken in a specific part of Canada. I suggest you travel west of here and seek out the Earl of Winnipeg. He can tell you where in Canada they speak this freakish tongue. But I warn you, the wilderness of Canada is filled with dire wolves. You know what dire wolves are, right? They're like wolves, but they're dire. While he's not kidding about the dire animals, they're animals, but they're dire. And of course, they'll give you dire aids. The Prince of Canada is no saint, I promise you. As a matter of fact, it's this imbecile that pretty much brought about the wrath of the, the Canadian Christ, devil That's onto Canada. Yeah, so he's a bumbling idiot. Hold it right there. Here are 
share your photos with the prince and princess. Would you like two eight by tens or six five by sevens? All right, there you go. You can exit right through there. <laughs> About the souvenir photos, it doesn't matter if it's five by seven or eight by tens. You're going to end up being mocked for not buying the other one if you buy one. Oh, and for the record, I'm going to actually do an all kinney run here in Canada. That's rather interesting, because normally I would use either Cartman or Kyle for Canada. So, runs aside, if you go up here, there is going to be a treasure chest lying in the wait. Just pick that up and just head back. And, by the way, you transform into boats just like you did in Final Fantasy uh, 1 and 2 if you cross over docks and bridges. By the way, put down the bait and the Canadian Bark and Spider will appear and this is the last hunt of the game. You have to come here to Canada in order to get it anyway. Now then... Just, uh... Put some bad stats on the Canadian Bark and Spider, but watch out as far as Kiss is concerned if you're using Kenny. If you miss the Royal Kiss, you will gross yourself out. Now then, the, uh... Barking Spider will use Web Shot, the Canadian greeting. It'll summon minions, and of course, will burn you with its fire breath. But whatever the case, the Barking Spider is not really that bad because it is more of a power balance scale, even though we are at uh, level 14. I've said it before and I'll say it again, by the time you reach the Canada, you will be at max level. And that is no uh, fib. By the way, um, I missed the unicorn. And it killed Kenny. But at the process, it killed the Canadian Barking Spider. And we've got Viking Armor for that, and not to mention the final level up in the game. So, uh, yeah, let's get out of here and head over to Winnipeg. Move, you stupid wolf! Thank you! And now that we're here in Winnipeg, well, before we do, let's go on ahead and add one, two... Well, it's not a perk, actually, it's an upgrade. Go back, go back, we're gonna add one to... We're gonna add one to execute. Of course. It's a good idea to do Welcome that. Welcome to Winnipeg. This is a conservative township, so my We're gonna beat the game of the thief anyway, so it's want. no it's big deal. Man, Let's talk to the Earl of Winnipeg. Ah, yes. This writing is definitely Canadian. But why should I help a foreigner when Winnipeg is completely overrun with dire bears? Tell you what, kill off all the dire bears in the north of town, and I'll help you however I can. In case you don't get the running gag, anything that's dire is pretty this much worse than what it originally is. You know what a dire bear is, right? And yes, I like did mention something like about dire. dire, uh, AIDS earlier. And yeah, the dire animals will give you dire AIDS. If you're not careful. Oh, and that one Mountie will block the area if you don't talk to the Earl of Winnipeg. But nonetheless, the only thing you have to worry about the dire bears for is the Canadian greeting, the frost bell, the frost breath, sorry. Their slash attacks, which is the regular attacks, and of course, getting dire aids. So, to speed up this process, and even though we're nearing the end of the game anyway, might as well start using summonings now, because if I don't, I probably will be in the situations where I won't be able to use them. So, by killing the dire bear, we'll not only get some Canadian cash, but also, we'll get some dire belts. I mean, dire bear pelts, sorry. So let's go back to the Earl of Winnipeg to get that note translated. By Jove, you've done it! Look at all these dire bear pelts! Now I can finally make a dire row. All right, give me that document. Mm, yes. This is actually written in the language of Eastern Canadian. The Minister of Montreal can translate it. But I'm afraid the Prince has imprisoned the Minister of Montreal in the caverns of Quebec. I will speak with the Prince. Return to him and he should let you speak with the Minister. Boy, oh boy, I will have the most dire robe in all of Canada. 
And now we learn that the Minister of Vancouver is the only one that could translate the abortion records that we happen to snag from the abortion clinic. And oh god, I got bit by a dire wolf. Uh, well this is a new character anyway, so uh, dire wolves have frost breaths too. And there went our ability. There's a Canadian greeting. God damn it, I'm grossed out. And I'm almost dead. Good lord have mercy. What a terrible start. Uh, I was thinking about using another summoning, but I'm gonna wait on that. There's one summoning in particular that I'm definitely gonna wait for till near the end of the game. So, let's start using some stink bombs on these things. Take that! And now... Uh... Let's heal up, uh... New Kid. And let's go on ahead and unleash the rats! Come on, let's shake them off! Oh god, I almost failed that! Oh, I almost failed that too! I thought I would have actually shook them off faster than what I did. Must be my controller's dying. Alright, let's pick up the direwolf pelt and whatever other things they have, and let's go back to Ottawa and talk to the prince. Because the prince is the only one that can actually free the Minister of Vancouver. Doubt it seriously, but we might as well talk to the prince anyway. There you are. I understand you wish me to release the Minister of Montreal. I'd like to help you, but I think this might be another ploy by the Bishop of Banff to have Montreal allowed back into the kingdom. Some Canadians think our nation should be united again, my lord. Shut up! Who the fuck are you? Listen, it's all because the Bishop of Banff is a liberal. He does these things just to make life difficult for me. I must ask you to perform another noble quest. Go to Banff and kill the bishop. <gasps> kill the bishop of Banff? Shh, you. Shh. Kill the bishop of Banff for me and bring me his balls as proof. Do this and I shall allow you into the catacombs of Quebec. Make haste! I apologize, I met the Minister of Montreal, but even then, he's still held captive in the uh, catacombs of Quebec. And the only way we can actually free him is if we go to the Bishop of Bath and kill the Bishop of Bath. Welcome to the I'm show. telling you can now, you the Canadian Prince is a complete and utter nuisance. Uh, let's sell up a couple of things, I guess. Oh, right, you can only sell Canadian junk here in Canada. They don't America junk. My bad. But I was only half right on that notion. Um, I'll save the money for something else. Because there is something in particular that I want in, I do believe, either Banff or Vancouver. I think it was Vancouver. No, no, it's Banff. I remember, it's Banff. Let's go through and uh, get to the town of Banff and go meet the bishop. But first, welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? The thing that I want to get from Banff is by far one of the best um, equipments in the game, the Bishop's armor, which I need more money for. Yeah, I'm kind of a little short on cash. Anyway, if you're here in this area. First thing you want to do is break the pot that has that switch over there. And it'll open the door to the chest. Now, take the uh, strap on or equipment perk from there. And also take the disc of bleeding, which is a circular razor blade. I'm gonna have to switch weapons. Because it's time for me to switch weapons with a super bouncy ball. I mean, after all, uh, with everything that I have in my arsenal, it's, it would be in my best interest to switch for something that actually hurts him. So actually, I'm going to switch to the poison grenade because no one's air played there at all. Oh, and by the way, to initiate the battle with a what bishop, is? just strike him! Fuck, it's a bishop. Now then, the Bishop of Bath. 
Be careful, cause this guy oh, can it. also give you dire raids. I kid you not. But he can also heal himself and put some other Remember stats on him as well. As disgusting as the poison grenades could more than likely be, uh, it would be safe to say that they do some of the most damage if you actually uh, equip a flame or a bleeding uh, strap-on to the ranged weapons. So now, let's give the bishop a kiss! And make him even more grossed out than what he already is! Oh, and by the way, Judge the Philistine, not only does that do gross up, that's the move that does IRA too. If you didn't break if you didn't block it, that is. Considering that just about everything in Canada will give you dire aids as far as enemies is concerned. So, now that the bishop is burning, let's make sure he stays burning. I shall turn the other cheek. And for the record, he cannot be put to sleep, he can't be stunned, and he can't be dizzy. So Jimmy is relatively useless, except for using the brown he knows not what he does. And also the uh, Song of Enchantment. And also the Power Chorus, which would actually restore some of your uh, power points. I'm just about weakening the bishop. He's pretty much almost dead. So let's get some rats up in here and seriously do some damage. Oh, wait, I almost failed that one. But in case you're one. Oh, God, he's using communion to heal himself. God damn it. And just for the record, I was going to say if you do get killed by the Rats, Kitty will be good out again. But also, one thing needs to be mentioned, if the Bishop uses Communion on himself and he doesn't have any bad stats on him, he will eventually put a Regent stats on him, a Regent stat on himself. I'm not sure if he has a one hit kill, but I do know this, he can make the fight draw a little longer if he doesn't have any bad stats on him. So, let's go on ahead and put a Strength Potion on Kenny, or Power Points, whichever one comes first. And let's go on ahead and end the Bishop of Bad. Or try to, at least. Oh, crap! Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa! Please, you don't have to kill me. I'll go away and the Prince will never know I'm alive. Please, take these dire pig testicles and tell the Prince they're mine. Bless you, my son. It'll be our secret. Wow, good thing I saved these. <laughs> if you save the bishop like I just did, you will get the bishop as a, a friendship request. On top of that, you would Bad actually guy. not Bad be gone. locked out of Bad friends because if, if the bishop of Banif is dead, you will not be able to get 120 friends. Also, one other thing that needs to be said, the bishop of Banif will give you free bishop armor if you kill him. And one more thing, he was using a move called Cleanse the Wicked. If Kenny, by the way, would have, no, if he would have not died, he would have took half of Kenny's health and all the stats that was on Kenny. Is he dead? Did you kill him? Yay, the bishop's balls! Now religion won't interfere with government. How can we ever repay you? You said you would free the minister of Montreal, my lord. Sorry, no can do. With both the bishop and the minister taken care of, my throne is secure. But my liege, we made a promise. Shh, you. Shh. Quickly, you must speak with the Duke of Vancouver. He can help you get into the catacombs of Quebec. Give the Duke this. Hurry now. Save or slay the Bishop of Banff, the Prince will be your friend regardless. And now we have a letter from the Princess to go to Vancouver in order for us to save the Minister of Montreal, who was locked in the catacombs of Quebec. And Vancouver should be a familiar place to everyone, because it's also home 
Well, we can also go back to the bath, too, because there is one other place. Oh, there's one other thing I need to Welcome do, because I thought can we I earned some money from that mission. Or at least enough money. I could go on ahead and buy the, uh, bishop armor right now. But, if I would have killed the bishop, I would have got a free bishop's armor. Oh, well. It happens. Anyway, let's go over to Vancouver. And that is the home of Terrence and Philip. No, seriously, it really was the home of Terrence and Philip. So let's talk to the minister of Vancouver. Yes, yes, I know. But Ottawa is clear on the A letter from the princess? What the? Why, according to this, the prince had something to do with the bishop's murder and has imprisoned the minister unjustly. Young man, if you wish to brave the catacombs of Quebec, you would have to speak with the monks who live to the southeast of town. Only they could train you in such sorcery. And now, in order for us to save the Minister of Montreal, we have to learn a new move from Terrence and Philip. But first, let's break this wall right here. Once we do, open the chest, and there should be parts to the barbarian armor. Now then! Oh, and also the Axe of Rending. Yeah, the Serrated Axe of Rending, sorry. Now then, all you need to do is go below the map here and cross the wharf, and you will find yourself in the home of Terrence and Philip. Obviously, oh, yeah. fart jokes will definitely uh, mean because that they too up. will know some magic. powerful he magic. Even know so, how just use Dragon Shout <laughs> on both Terrence oh, and Philip. Hey, no, then, use Cup of Spell on both of them. Shout. It's not like he fought it into his hand and hit you in the face with it, Philip. <laughs> God, and then, use the Sneaky really Squeaker and you should get back. their attention. Sneaky Squeaker! Very impressive. He is worthy of our training after all. Yes. Prepare thyself, child. It is time for you to learn some true magic. Your magic is impressive, young American. Not since Eric von Thunderpants of Nova Scotia have we seen such prowess. But now, you must learn to control your anus muscles in just the right way to change a spell's frequency. Some objects seem too large to be damaged by magic, but now I will break through it with Nagasaki! Here, watch again! Now you try! Believe in yourself! These three pedophiles from Alberta will have their way with you unless you damage them all with one move. Nagasaki! Despite what Terrence and Philip says, they'll wait until you actually get the move right. <laughs> That's it! You have the power! With that, we've not only got yes, yes. Nagasaki, the final ability of the game, the of but two and more ever, friend ever requests in the form of spot. Terrence and Philip. That also means we have the final perk of the game, which I'm going to put towards Griefer, considering Stink Bomb now has the ability to piss off enemies. Griefer will increase the damage done to pissed off enemies. Which will make this game oh so much easier for the thief now. And since we have the Nakasaki ability, we're going to have to wait till the next part in order for us to actually get that one friend that is trapped behind the rock. There's only, like, a couple of places in the game that you can actually use Nagasaki, and most of them is the final level of the game. So yeah, let's go over to the catacombs of... Oh, god damn it, we got into an encounter. Be right back. And now let's go into the catacombs of Quebec to save the Minister of Montreal. For reals this time, without a stupid random encounter. Anyway... Now all we need to do is... Hello? We don't even need to go up to the rock. We just need to get the right frequency for Nagasaki. And the rock will be destroyed. 
you just gotta push L to the sweetest spot, and if the rumbling is more intense, you'll end up breaking statues. That can be hard, considering one boss battle uh, determines how you actually pull off the uh, Nakasaki correctly. Now then, as far as these dire animals are concerned, we now have a rematch with dire bears and dire wolves, but now we get to fight dire snakes as well. There's at least five animals here. So what you do... Actually, there's six animals, actually. We might as well trigger the Nagasaki. Which I should have actually drunk some uh, speed potion and it would have killed every last enemy there. I think I also was too late on that end. But I'm going to kill every last enemy. The dire snakes are the most... Uh, threatening as they can quickly give you dire aids from just one bite. That's the only reason why I'm showing off the battle because I did not show off the uh, dire animal. Well, the dire snakes, sorry. I did show off the wolves and the bears, but that's it. Once you kill them, uh, you can just pick up all the stuff that they have and also clean out whatever is in the catacombs of Quebec without running into any random encounters. This is a one-time only encounter thing. Once you, uh, kill off the dire animals, that's it. Okay. <laughs> And with that, it caps off with the 8-bit rendition of Blame Canada. How freaking epic is that? It's absolutely hilarious to be honest. But I'm gonna go back to BAMF because I wanna- Oh god damn it, you stupid dire snake! I just want to get the bishop gloves! Son of a bitch! No! No, you asshole! Ah, <sighs> Christ, I have dire aids now. What am I gonna do? Yeah, you stink bombs on him, bastards. Unlike the rest of the bad stats, dire aids is not going away anytime soon. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to spend some money to get rid of it. First, let's go over to Banff to get the Welcome Bishop the Gloves, show. and I finally, finally, I'll have a complete set of the Bishop Armor. Well, I'm mad I can get an equipment patch too, but I've already spent too much time here. Let's go to Ottawa and get cured of Dire Aids. Because it's actually like regular eggs, except it's dire. And if I don't, although I'll get an achievement, I will slowly but surely die almost every Welcome single battle. Uh -huh, and it's bad enough that stack damage on stats is bad. Is worse because it's like you're coming into the battle with a poison stat. So let's get you healing. Of you still have aids, but it is and no now we dying. also got... <laughs> <laughs> so we basically got aids. Just not as serious because it's Magic Johnson base. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, we'll just wait till the rest of the theme actually plays because it's a really good theme. I love the song Blade Canada, especially from the movie. So, uh, yeah. The only thing I have to say is Canada was actually fun. And it's a, too it's a damn shame that the game didn't end here. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you guys in the next part when we uh, go to the girls and give them the translated documents. Not to mention, pick up some last minute friends and some last minute chin Pokemon. And also, we get ready to siege the Palace of Collide. This is Arvin Man on A5. See you guys next time. 
And I'm glad that I went throughout the entirety of the game without making a Justin Trudeau reference. Justin Trudeau is a dirty rat. Oh, God damn it! I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist, could I? See you guys next time.